radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Scorpio for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements wherever you have the Scorpionic placement in your charts, you can apply this too. Before we get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below for your protection. That is the only place, the only way that you can get a private reading from me. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my completely free radio show. It's live, we listen to music, we pull cards for every zodiac sign, it's super fun. And playbacks are below for that too. <clears throat> and other than that, we're just going to get into what's going on with Scorpio. Hmm. All right, let's get right into it. First card out, let your past go. So I guess we're going deep. For Scorpio, let's see where this lands us. Uh, the burden of carrying the past around has made you weary. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and now it's gone. So, <clears throat> tapping into this energy. I'm feeling like some of you guys have been trying to do some shadow work. Some of you guys have been doing some journaling or your body clock has naturally kind of pulled you back to where it all began. So you may be thinking about, well, how did I get here? That kind of thing. Doing a lot of reflection, a lot of wondering, why am I not where I want to be? Or what has gotten in my way of me being the best version of myself? And I feel like you guys have kind of, you know, instead of taking what you can learn from where you, have you know, started and how you got it here gotten here um you've kind of started to sit and stir and really think about things that you've been through and some of it's low vibrational um we have see only love uh look past the seemingly errors or the seeming errors mistakes and misunderstandings and see only love within each person including yourself your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways so tapping into this energy it's also about forgiving yourself scorpio um there's definitely some resentment that some of you guys have on self um and you know kind of hating yourself or really despising yourself for the decisions that you've made and where they've gotten you and you know kind of kind of blaming yourself for not being where you want to be and it's not about you know just kind of blaming yourself it's about looking at okay this is what happened and this is what i did let's avoid that you know, but it's it's kind of like there's this this hanging on to the journey and, and what you've been through. And that's, you know, you're missing the point of it all. We have family. The situation is rooted in emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you understand and heal. And your mind and heart surround this person yourself and the experience with a calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel at peace. So this honestly could have been a generational thing. It doesn't have to be a direct family member like, oh, something super bad happened um, in this life with someone specifically that you know. But it could be a generational energy that's been within the family that you've been challenged with the, you know, weight of kind of healing <clears throat> focus on service so with this I specifically get what can you provide because I'm now getting like this financial energy where it's like Scorpio would feel better if maybe you were in a different financial situation where you could set up your life to be more comfortable and I feel like if you guys are more comfortable you feel like you you, you can you know kind of get through some of these things um, your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss this dream continuously feeds you and everything you need put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do so what can you do that can help this journey along and then we have what do you desire um, you now have the opportunity to write a script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know you're ready of de and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. So tapping into this energy, Scorpio, this kind of feels like, <laughs> Phew, excuse me, this kind of feels like scripting in the sense of like manifesting. Not rewriting your story per se, but writing, okay, what do I want the future to look like? Because that whatever stance of the play is already over. It's already unfolded. 
what can I do to heal? What can I do to move forward? What can I do to start this next phase in life? So I feel like that would be a fun exercise for you, Scorpio, to start to kind of break down how you're going to get there. Um, you know, write out your life as if you were writing a play. Where do you want to be in the end? How does this play end for you? What's your perfect version of happiness? And then writing backwards how it happened. Getting your creative juices flowing like that is another hack to manifesting as well, because once you expand your mind and you allow yourself to be more creative, You'll effortlessly start to, you know, come up with solutions and energies will just manifest for you without even really having to ask for them because subconsciously you already know what you want. Subconsciously, you're already open to limitless potential because you've written a story yourself out of nothing. You've created something. So that can really help you too. Ooh, I'm getting this energy. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like there's an issue with forgiving yourself here. We have the nine of cups in reverse, or is this the six? I always get confused with this. This one's the six. Six of cups in reverse. So this is an energy of forgiving yourself for the blunders that you've made in the past. You know, you guys are looking at yourself like, I can't believe I let them get away with that. I can't believe they treated me like that. And we ended up in this space where I didn't really get what it, it was that I wanted. Queen of Wands, Two of Swords in reverse. I get this energy of really suppressing the truest version of yourself as well, Scorpio. Watering, your, watering yourself all the way down to the point where you're darn near drowning for the benefit of another person. Always being the happy person. Always being the fun person. Always being the person that lit up everyone else's life or was super tapped into emotions and helped everyone through their problems or was so, so patient. And for what? And now it's like, you're like, I thought that's what I was supposed to do. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. So how did it get me here? And I think the universe has been teaching you to balance, to learn how to balance that energy. Let's see. Likely through a relationship, oh my goodness. Let's get into this. So we have the Chariot, the Empress, and Justice. So this is the phase that you're moving into, Scorpio, and it's honestly just a lesson learned. Honestly, just a lesson learned at this point, but you are being allowed to move forward and Justice is going to come down and those who have negatively affected you, they will have to answer for it. Maybe not directly from you, probably best, that the universe just handled this one. But through this process, you got to see your value. Some people, they can go through things and you know they can just kind of take that for what, for what it is. <clears throat> you went through this and you see this is not it. There's gotta be more. So we have the Hierophant in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. And this is about addressing what you've been through for all the right reasons so you can take from it the lessons and leave with it any of the lower vibrational feelings from the experiences. Like I said, we got the Two of Cups here. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh, I didn't even see that. We got the Emperor in reverse. So we have a true pair on the board. Whoever is in their divine feminine energy, the Empress, your card came up upright. So you were likely the lover. This Emperor in Reverse, I feel like was running, or yeah, Emperor in Reverse, I feel like they were running away from their own divinity, running away from <laughs> everything that they were supposed to learn here and just falling prey to the toxicity in it all. But you're trading out a Two of Cups relationship for a lover's relationship, one that is divinely guided, one with a partner that is equally yoked. And I feel like it's hard for some of you guys to admit that this person wasn't ready or they wouldn't do the work. <laughs> But, um, you know, kind of angry at yourself for, for waiting so long to see if they could, to see if they would. We have the King of Swords, Three of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> this is an energy of foraging ahead without guilt. An energy of foraging ahead with the lesson of it all. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Hanged Man here. So that's definitely an energy of surrender. And it takes a lot. 
it takes a lot to surrender to something like this where you can see potential people will hang on to potential more than they will hang on to the facts of what they see right in front of them <laughs> we have put a ring on it something different and too much on my mind so in terms of love scorpio you know what i really feel like that's something different is definitely for you and this put a ring on it was, you know, likely what you wanted to get out of your last situation or likely what you wanted to get from here. And <clears throat> you haven't received it. And I just keep getting this energy consistently of turning and looking at yourself as if you're the reason that you hadn't gotten what you've gotten. You'd like you or you, you're the reason that you hadn't gotten what you had wanted. I'm getting this energy of trying to pressure someone into you wanting what you want, but they, like I said, weren't willing to do the work. We have the emperor in reverse. Too much on my mind. It was overwhelming for them to think about it or to feel love. We have happy family and spellbound. This feels very, this feels very dreamlike dreamy like i just get this dreamy energy of having that fairy tale type of love fairy tale where it's like you have a happy family a happy unit a person that's absolutely obsessed with you in the best possible way not obsessed in the point where they're obsessing over you because you know they're wanting something from you but just because they love you and it is out there for you specifically by way of the universe. It will come through if you surrender to the journey because the lover's card does indicate universal influence. The universe kind of leading you to that person that can provide you with all of these things. Um, but it's hard for some of you to lean into that energy because there is a, a level of surrender there. And I feel like I'm speaking to a group of Scorpios where it's like, you guys have this attitude of nothing's gonna get done correctly unless I do it myself. <laughs> you know and there is a level of surrender that's going to be needed here so we have abundance of love and in heaven you guys get it it's a very sweet sappy romantic energy we have jealous jealousy cats out of the bag and conceited so definitely some issues with the ego with that conceited card someone felt like they could get everything from anyone and they would and then I feel like there may have been like this, this jealousy issue here, cats out of the bag. There may have been a third party situation that got exposed for someone or just feelings of jealousy because you were never fully chosen by someone. It could be vice versa. I could be reading you guys down to the ground, <laughs> exposing you for what you put someone else through. Regardless of what side you're on though, Scorpio, you know, apply the energy as it needs to be. That would make sense, you know, due to the guilt or this looking at self as if, you know, you had really done something wrong. That would make sense. But regardless of what side you're on, you have to forgive yourself for it and make amends if you can, if you are on the side of the person who of the situation if you've you know done this to someone else let's see what else we get what are the other messages for scorpio what does scorpio need to know i feel like there are things left unsaid with this situation we have regret and purpose in that order. So channel those energies of regret. Channel that energy into your future and program your future to be what you always wanted your past to be. You wanted things to go a certain way. So take the opportunity to get the most out of what you have ahead of you. Because you can only look back. You can't actually go back in this life. I know that I cannot change the past is what it says at the bottom of regret. At the bottom of purpose, it says I know what I am here to do. So the universe may have been pushing you, pushing you, pushing you in, Scorpio, to go within and say, okay, what is my purpose going to be here moving forward? Being thankful for the lessons that you have been through, but allowing yourself to release them. Anytime I write a letter to the universe, that's exactly how I start it. I say, universe, this and this and this is what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for the situations that I dealt with with my ex so that I can learn X, Y, Z. 
but I'm ready to be released from them and move forward into my new purpose, my new position, my new life. Um, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents is what it says at the bottom of that card. Any other messages from Scorpio here? All right, so let's get into this one. What are the messages for Scorpio? Ooh, we got time to move on. Flow with the river and see where it takes you. Tapping into this energy, Scorpio, it is time to release the past. Let your past go. Very first card that we got into, into your spread. So everything is definitely lining up and coming full circle here. Saying the same thing. Letting you know that it is time. The way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. So for those of you who feel like there are a bunch of obstacles in the way, a bunch of reasons why you can't get to where you want to get to, the universe is saying, whether or not you see it reflected in your 3D reality, the way for you is clear. And the way for you is not necessarily the way that anyone else has got it before. And that's why it's important to tune into yourself and your own journey versus looking outside of you or how other people have gotten the way that you know the things that they've wanted in their way and <clears throat> how other people have achieved what you wanted because this is your journey and you're the main character here so you have to go your own path but if you surrender to someone else's path that is where the conflict and defeat comes through because you won't be in alignment we have fertility, material, and spiritual prosperity, and love begins. There is a lot of fertile energy around you, Scorpio. A lot of new beginnings you're walking into. And all of the micro lessons that you've learned up until this point have gotten you here to this bigger kind of maybe tower moment or this, you know, epiphany or just this breakdown till it's like you can no longer resist what the universe is telling you. Um, but you guys have an opportunity for new love. You have the opportunity for material success and prosperity, okay, many um, material things, and spiritual prosperity, where you can return back to wholeness, where you can be happy, where you can be a being of love, intuitive, and really figure this thing out. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading for your protection. That's the only place, the only way you can get a private reading from me. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on my free radio show also in the description. We pull cards for every zodiac sign. We listen to music. It is super fun over there, you guys. And that was your message, Scorpio. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.